Sim Update 10 for Microsoft Flight Simulator is currently in its beta phase. The update introduces the long-awaited NVIDIA DLSS feature. So in this video, we're going to see just what performance improvements, as well as quality improvements, DLSS actually brings to the Sim. On the screen right now then, we can see a comparison between DLSS quality setting and temporal anti-aliasing. There's four different quality settings for DLSS. Quality is the top setting, and you can see right here it's rendering at 2560 by 1440 p and then upscaling that to 4K. Meanwhile, on the other side, we've got TAA set to 65. Unfortunately, we can't set TAA to exactly the same as 1440p, but this is the closest that we can get. It's a reasonable comparison, I think. The resolution isn't too far different, so this should give us some comparison between the quality in terms of graphics and uh, the sharpness here, as well as the performance. So when it comes to performance, it seems to me at least that DLSS doesn't deliver a tremendous amount more than TAA, at least for my particular setup. This is running on a RTX 3080 with a Ryzen 7 5800X. At any rate, you can see the DLSS is certainly pushing a few more pixels here, but TAA is gaining around about 5 to 6 frames per second extra on average in the same locations under the same conditions. However, that said, on these particular settings, DLSS really does shine when it comes to image quality. Here, the picture on the left is clearly far sharper. And yes, it's certainly pushing more pixels, 3.68 million pixels, versus the 3.5 million on the right. But the pixel density difference is minimal here. It really does come down to the AI and how this has been upscaled. So yes, DLSS definitely wins out in this particular mode. It turns out though that DLSS doesn't win in that particular category all the way down. Once you get to ultra performance, you'll notice that image quality has very, very large degradations versus TAA. But I'm jumping ahead of myself a little bit there. For now, we're on the balance setting. This is the second highest setting for DLSS. Now, the equivalent setting, as close as we can get it, is TAA 6D. So, as before, the pixel density here isn't identical, but it's very, very close. Again, in terms of frame rates, very close here, more or less equivalent to each other, although a TAA seems to win out very slightly, at least in most occasions. And again, DLSS definitely wins out in terms of image quality, far sharper than TAA. So, up until this point, NVIDIA DLSS has definitely been very good, but some problems really start to creep in once you select performance mode. We'll take a closer look at that in just a moment. We're going to zoom in. But before that, I want to point out that this is the only mode where we can do a like for like comparison. Here, for both sides, the image is being rendered at 1080p and then upscaled to 4K. In terms of frame rate, TAA seems once again to have a slight advantage, although for the most part, in most situations, this is going to be a barely noticeable. But one thing that is noticeable is image quality. Now, personally, I think something is wrong here. It doesn't seem to be quite right. The image on the left, the DLSS image, it doesn't seem to be upscaling correctly. It's very apparent in the geometry on the elements on the dashboard, but also the trees on the ground, as well as a little bit for the mountain in the distance. But as I say, for whatever reason, this is especially noticeable on the cockpit elements, it's a problem that also seems to affect glass cockpits a little bit more so actually, and that's something we'll have a look at in just a moment. But first, let's take a look at ultra performance. Again, frame rates here, very comparable. Uh, again, the TAA is pushing slightly more pixels, but not too significant, but this is the closest match we can get. Either way though, the image quality for DLSS on ultra performance seems to not be very good at all. While 720p is not a particularly high resolution, it should really be able to upscale better than this, so I'm not quite sure what is going wrong here. But either way, please, please do keep in mind that this is the beta version of Sim Update 10. It's by no means the final version. There's plenty of room for improvements yet. In fact, this update isn't due for release onto the live version of the game until well, late August, so quite a while yet. So either way, definitely not the final version, but I feel it's important for people to get a bit of an idea of how things are carrying out at the moment. Okay, so moving on to the glass cockpits. This is the Cessna 172 G1000. Now, very interestingly here, we've got DLSS quality setting, 
and we're comparing it to DLSS Ultra Performance, Ultra Performance rather. And what you'll no doubt immediately notice here is that Ultra Performance doesn't appear to have any quality issues when upscaling glass cockpits. Very strange because when it comes to the cockpit itself and in weld, there's definitely a lot of jagged edges, some very real problems, but here, not so much. So just for clarification's sake, the Ultra Performance image is being upscaled from 720p to 4K, whilst the quality image is being upscaled from 1440p to 4K. That said though, whilst 4K glass cockpits look totally fine, another sim number of simmers out there have noticed that glass cockpits do seem to have problems when it comes to image quality. As far as I can see, this seems to be relatively specific to 1080p. So here on the DLSS quality setting, the image is being upscaled from 720p to 1080p. But the problem really comes in in ultra performance mode. Here, the image is being rendered at 360p and then upscaled to 1080p. And you can see there's definitely some quality issues here. Now, this might be just down to the limitations of DLSS itself. After all, this is upscaling from 360p to 1080p, which is asking a lot of it probably. There's not a lot of pixel information in the 360p after all. But either way, after looking around at the forum somewhat, it seems this is up for debate and that 360p should probably upscale quite a bit better. Not too sure of that myself, but let's see how that goes. I'd love to actually hear from you in the comments section below. What are your thoughts on the whole DLS upscaling thing, specifically for glass copies, but also in the whole world environments as well. So at this point, I want to give you a little bit more insight into how things perform. We're going to go on and show a bit more footage um, in the next set of clips, actually the clips on the screen you can see right here, you can see I did have some temperature issues with my GPU. This was throttling the card a little bit, not too significant, but a bit. Don't think it played too much of a performance problem overall, but this is just to, down to the uh, area being very hot. Yesterday was especially hot. The room was at about 28 degrees, I do believe, so yeah, a little bit on the warm side. But for the rest of the images here, for the next clip of footages, all of that was totally fine. At any rate, I'm going to jump off now and let you enjoy the rest of the clips.